All right, you guys, we're back with another one. Today, we're gonna be doing something amazing. 11 by 14 canvas. We're gonna be engraving the Super Bowl champion quarterback, Tom Brady. Yeah, you heard it, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady. First year, Super Bowl, seven rings. It's time to get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this thing with a coat of white Rust-Oleum gloss. Start at the bottom, give it a good even coat all the way up. All the way up the canvas. Nice overlapping coat. We're gonna go all the way up. And then we're gonna come all the way back down. Just to make sure. There we go. That's our first coat. We're gonna come back and we're gonna hit it with some apple red. You know, a little spritz here, spritz there. Gonna coat it with one final coat of Rust-Oleum gloss back, black, and we're gonna get this party started. Y'all stick around, it's gonna be amazing. All right, guys, we're back. And our white is not completely dry. It's still a little tacky. Still a little tacky. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit it with some of this apple red but we're going to spritz it we're just going to spritz it all over the canvas not full color we're just spritzing it all over it That's it. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. We're going to spritz it down. We're going to let it dry completely now before we put our top black coat, which is a Rust-Oleum gloss black. Y'all stick around. This is going to be crazy. All right, guys. Our apple red is dry. We're going to hit it with our final coat of Rust-Oleum gloss black. Just a quick coat just to cover the canvas. This is gonna be a crazy burn. Tom Brady, it's gonna be crazy. Seven rings, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's going crazy, y'all. So let's go ahead and put this uh, coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black on. Nice quick coat. Nice quick coat, even coat. Nothing special. All the way up to the top, cap it off. There we go. Y'all stick around, it's gonna be amazing burn. Amazing burn. All right guys, this is the image that we selected to do today. Mr. Tom Brady wearing his Buccaneers uniform. Only thing we're gonna do to this image, we're gonna come in and hit the big get the plug in on it. It's gonna be on our 11 by 14 canvas. Make sure you select tile when you're doing canvas. We're gonna be doing 600 DPI, a max image width of 280, uh, max image height of 360. We're gonna run the process, let it process. This is gonna be an amazing burn, y'all. Seriously. Back doing canvas, on, did a few different things, vases and night lights. Now we're back on canvas. So that's what we're gonna be doing, this damage. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna go to file, we're gonna go to export as. Leave the name is Brady. We're gonna go to GIMP Photos. as where we want it to go. I'm gonna hit export, replace. Make sure your quality is at 100%. You want the best of the best. Hit export. And there we go. We're gonna load it into light burn. Wait on our final uh, coat to dry. And then we're gonna start this burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, we got everything loaded into light burn. We changed the width to 275 and to 350, just so it can be a little bit over the border a little bit, so it kind of coats the edge a little bit. I'm just trying something new. Normally it's 273, 274, just depending on how the canvas is set up. Um, our cuts and layers tab, um, we're gonna be using 
3000 speed and 25% power and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Um, line interval, we're going to be doing 254, scan angle is zero. Image mode is going to be Jarvis, one pass and pass through is not selected. That's our numbers. Y'all stick around, I'm going to show y'all why my settings are what they are. Alright guys, our canvas is dry. The reason our settings are wet, they are because we're using the fixed focus 20 watt laser module. We're going to give it a try, see if it really stands up to the 15 watt non-focused fixed lens. Um, we're going to see if it stands up to it, you know what I mean? I think it's going to be a okay challenge. We shall see. We shall see. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to hit shift and frame. Make sure we got everything lined up. It's looking pretty good. It's pretty easy to focus this thing. You just take the uh, cylinder that came with it, sit it underneath the laser, drop your laser down. It comes with an adjuster, but I already have one. So, you know, I just use it. And uh, pretty easy to focus. So we're going to see how it does. We're going to go ahead and start this thing. Y'all stick around.